we are given four conducting plates the outermost plates are connected with the wire and we are given a uh, potential delta phi across these two plates we need to find what is the electric field strength between the neighboring plates and charge per unit area of the plate so let's say charge per unit area okay so there are certain points about conductors which are very standard results but let's just read through them once because we are going to use them first is battery will give equal amount of positive and negative charge which gives sigma 1 is equal to sigma 3 so we have just assumed here sigma 1 here is sigma 1 then this is minus sigma 1 sigma 2 minus sigma 2 and so on and on outermost surfaces the field the value of charge density is zero see the reason is charge on outermost facing surfaces of outermost plates is half of total charge each but in this case there is no charge present in the beginning so total charge is going to be zero so half of zero is also zero so charge on outermost facing surfaces is zero so it's zero here zero here then charges on adjacent inside surfaces are equal and opposite so if this is sigma 1 so we have start from here the variables we have started taking so if this is sigma 1 this is minus sigma 1 this sigma 2 this is minus sigma 2 if this is sigma 3 this is minus sigma 3 so next point is potential of connected surfaces is equal so if you start from here so let's say the field between the these two plates is even between these two plates is e2 and between these two plates is e3 so if you go from this plate to this plate the potential difference should be zero because they are connected so starting from here the potential difference across these two plates is sigma 1 epsilon by d d is the length between two plates between this plate and this the potential difference is sigma 2 epsilon by d sorry sigma 2 by epsilon into d and here similarly sigma 3 by epsilon into d so if you add these three sigma 1 by epsilon into d plus sigma 2 by this result is going to be this addition is going to be zero so we start from zero and we end at zero which implies sigma 1 plus sigma 2 plus sigma 3 is equal to zero and here yeah battery will give equal amount of of positive and negative charges so you can see that this sigma 2 and this minus sigma 2 will anyway get cancelled so net charge because of on these two plates is minus sigma 1 plus sigma 3 which should be zero which gives sigma 3 should be equal to sigma 1 so this point also we have got finally potential across battery is given as delta v so what is the potential difference across these two plates it's sigma 2 by epsilon into d so delta v is sigma 2 by epsilon into d so now we have three equations and we have three variables sigma 1 sigma 2 sigma 3 so solving these we will get the value of sigma 1 and sigma 3 also sigma 2 we already found here and these are the values of sigma 1 and sigma 3 and if we know them electric field we can just calculate by these formulas so this part here is e1 this is e2 this is e3 so if we just put the values then we'll get the electric field for 1 and 3 is going to be same it is sigma 1 by epsilon and for second it is sigma 2 by epsilon so these are our answers actually the answers will be little bit different because he is asking the total charge per unit area on each plate so you need to do the addition so on the first plate it will be sigma 1 on second plate it's going to be sigma 2 minus sigma 1 so which you can just find from here sigma 2 minus sigma 1 on this plate sigma 3 minus sigma 2 and on this plate minus sigma 3 so just be careful these answers are different but it's fine